My government just made another really piss poor decision in a long line of recent piss poor decisions such as Brexit and cozying up to Trump and expecting him to back us over this whole Russia thing. Uh, but this most recent one is the exclusion of Lauren Southern, uh, Brittany Small Penis, and some Austrian guy with ideas way above his station from entering the country. Now there is a certain delicious British irony to this, in that these three people all advocate for strong borders and countries having control over who enters and who doesn't, so they should be praising the fact that Britain has chosen to exclude dangerous uh, political activists from entering the country in a way that they want them to when it comes to Islamism and other things. So yeah, it does it does fit the the British sense of humour to have this happen, I think. But I still think it's a mistake. It's a, it's a big mistake. It's not the only one of these kind of mistakes that's been made. I, I believe a pickup artist was excluded from entering the UK some time ago and something similar happened in, in Australia. As you know, there's, there's precedent for keeping people out, not that we should do it, on these kind of uh, vaguely spurious and slightly suspect grounds. Yeah, it, it, it's happened before, but that doesn't mean it's okay. If you know me, you'll know that I disagree with these people on a lot of things. Of the three, I've got the most time for Lauren Southern because I think she does some legitimate work, but it does have this very biased right-wing slant that you have to, to cut through. But she does produce content that's actually worth something. The, the others, not so much, I don't think. But should they have the right to speak? Of course they bloody should. They were scheduled to come in and talk at Speaker's Corner, which is like a, a real bastion of free speech in the UK. You're supposed to be able to stand on Speaker's Corner and say anything. It's, it's one of these weird traditions that we have in the country. Apparently they were excluded on the basis of racism off the back of a stunt they did uh, handing out leaflets saying that Allah was gay. Which itself was a response to a whole thing about uh, Jesus was gay that was, that was going on. To show the, the hypocrisy and double standards around that. And you know, that's a, that's a reasonable point. And Islam isn't a race, so it's not racism. Have they said other things, done other things that a bit more racist perhaps yeah they certainly have but yeah you're entitled to have racist views in, in my opinion and it's far better to have these things out in the open where you can argue them beat them down yeah, smack them to pieces with with facts than to have them hidden away and why is this a bad move because it legitimizes their complaints it looks hypocritical it gives them a far higher media profile than they would have had otherwise I bang on and on about this about how the Streisand effect affects the the far right whenever you try to crack down on them whenever you try to censor them and how like in universities when this happens you know the talks might be cancelled but the the media and the internet is awash with information and people end up exposed and the left ends up looking bad if we had just let these people into the country and let them have their little stunt on speaker's corner and whatever no one would give a shit but you keep them out of the country you allow them to take control of the media narrative to say that it's conservatives who are being barred and their dangerous views and whatever suddenly you have a big international media profile and a huge internet profile and they all gain massively from that if you want to harm them ignore them that's that's the best advice that I can give now, there's a whole load of other stuff going on around this um, Britain does have issues with free speech problems um, fortunately the the uh, porn ID law has been delayed uh, due to implementation issues so that, that's one thing and we do stop people from being able to express themselves politically and this is all bad and wrong and we need to have more conversations about that I, ironically leaving the EU is going to weaken our, our free speech protections they could have perhaps taken this to the European court if there was enough time um, because the European constitution or what amounts to the European constitution guarantees free speech rights so you know there would be the possibility of a challenge there but as things stand that doesn't look particularly likely the paperwork is being said to be false 
it might be. I could understand why they would present false paperwork to, to bolster their arguments, but it also may well be genuine. These forms get used and reused and copied and recopied. They're typed off in a hurry. So the spelling mistakes and the capitalization mistakes and so on, it wouldn't surprise me if a, a border clerk or whatever got that all got that all wrong or that the form was a was an old reused one. So I wouldn't jump the gun and say that it's fake, I wouldn't jump the gun and say that it's real. Yeah, they have been excluded. We got nobody's word to go on but there's um, what the reasons were yet. So in summary, yes they have obnoxious views. They should be free to express them. There was no good reason to keep them out of the country and it was counterproductive to do so. Nobody listens. Zang. Pulp Nova is a collection of short stories, in the old pulp style but with a modern twist. You should find something here you like, from western to mythos horror to science fiction. You can get Pulp Nova at Drive Through Fiction, on Amazon, or in hard copy from lulu.com. <laughs>